there was a time, and it wasn't that many years ago, I'd have been terrified to come up here and do what I'm doing right now. Some of you all, and I apologize to you all that were here for that, probably remember the first time I got up to lead singing in this church, and I could not be heard. Things changed, didn't they? It wasn't me that changed them. There are still times I get up on Sunday morning or Sunday evening or Wednesday or at a special service and I say, what in the world am I doing this for? I'm still terrified to stand in front of people. And it's the truth. My nature, apparently, is to not like to be in front of people to talk. You give me an option, guess what? I won't do it. So something as insignificant as that in the grand scheme of things, we won't willingly do against our nature. And you're going to tell me that a person can decide to be born again contrary to their nature. Can't be done. So to start with, what, what do the words foreknowledge and predestination mean? And when did this happen? The word foreknowledge, the definition is in the word. To know before. I do not agree with this.